Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Only Stupid Answers. This is a show where we answer your questions about movies, TV shows, comic books, and uh, Marvel's phase sixes and fives and fours and threes and twos and ones. Um, I am your host, DJ Wooldridge. With me, as always, is Roxy Stryer. Hello, Roxy. Hello, DJ. And listen... We're going to just dive right into this. You could have heard us talk about this earlier if you watched it at patreon.com slash only stupid answers, but you didn't. You're listening to it on the podcast. So uh, too bad for you, I think, is where I'm going for for this. Go to our <laughs> Patreon. I'm not Let's sure. But listen, we got a lot to talk about. Let's. Uh, so uh, at this point, when this show is dropping, it'll have been a couple weeks since Comic-Con, and Marvel just did a big old dump. <laughs> I don't know that's why that's the direction I went with it, but it gave us a bunch <laughs> like it's not a reveal as much as it is like a, a they, they like let us in on their process marvel yeah, they, was like they opened up a fire story. hose of information yeah, they were like here's the let us show you the the storyboard of phase four five six four baby. five and six wow so <clears throat> right off the bat with something that struck me that's what we're talking about this week we're talking about the marvel phases is it took about like 10 years for them to do phases one, two, and three. We're knocking out phases four, five, and six in like five years. Let's go. Why do you think that is? Money. Why do you think that is? Um, I think it's a couple things. I think one, so we know that phase, and, and we're kind of jumping ahead here, but we know that phase six is wrapping up with Avengers Secret Wars. And there's a couple versions of Avengers Secret Wars. One was in the 80s, where it was just a group of villains versus a group of heroes. <clears throat> they was put together by a character named The Beyonder that I would be genuinely shocked if the MCU ever does anything with. The one that they are probably pulling from is a more recent uh, miniseries written by Jonathan Hickman. And they should probably be paying him more because they pull from his books a lot. Um, and uh, and that was a big multiverse colliding uh, crossover that was kind of orchestrated by Doctor Doom. <clears throat> so, uh, and I feel like that's what we're building towards. And so I think Feige's thinking a couple things. I think Feige wants for Secret Wars, he now has the toys of the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. And I think he wants to cross those characters over with the Avengers that he's already established. And he knows if I wait another 10 years, you know, Robert Downey Jr. is not getting any younger. Chris Evans isn't getting any younger. And I'm going to back up the money trucks and bring them back for Secret Wars. And that's going to be the big the big selling point for Endgame was everybody's together. I think the big selling point for Secret Wars is we're bringing everybody back. R RDJ, Chris Evans, probably Tobey Maguire. Um, and, and I have some concerns, uh, this, we, I'm jumping way ahead. I have some concerns about X-Men. We'll get to that in a minute, but I think that's part of the reason. I also think Roxy, um, I don't know if you were there for this conversation. Where was I? Uh, this was back at the screen, the, the couple weeks I was working at Screen Junkies. Um, and somebody, and I won't go into details because I just realized I don't know how much I can say. Somebody who had some inside track was under the impression that, that Kevin Feige was looking to to bow out of being Marvel's go-to guy. And of course that at this point that was years ago. Uh, but that has always been in the back of my brain. And it's like, yeah, he probably wants to do the big thing with all the care, with all the toys so that he can call it a day. It's like, I did the thing. Right. I can pass it on to somebody else. And right, cause what is he going to do? Do it forever. I, I don't know. I don't know how you could, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how anybody could, um, so that's my yeah. thought on the the expedience I mean, with I which think this that is happening. What you, what you just said and what I said are kind of the same thing. Yeah. Yours is more detailed, but it all comes down to money. And I think that that would be the biggest money making endeavor ever to bring them back. Yeah. Um, holy shit. And also, yeah, just like fan service like crazy, but in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know that you said you have your concerns, but if on November 7th, 2025, we see our Avengers, and by our Avengers, you know who I'm talking about, come mm -hmm. back. Are we not all going to lose our fucking minds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so definitely. We're and we're going to be there. Listen, if we haven't, if we're not fucking road warriors by that point, we're all going to be going seeing this movie. I, I do feel like there's this there's this air of optimism when anybody's like, we've got this plan out to 2025. I'm like, oh, good for you. That's cute. I hope that works we're out. We're sure <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, we have two two global pandemics going on right now. Yeah, so. yeah, we have global pandemics, and that, there will be have been an election since then, and uh, people are making but, moves, baby. People are making moves. Somebody, somebody tweeted this week and said, 
doesn't seem right that there's two global pandemics and I have zero health cares. I should have two health cares and zero pandemics. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. But listen, we're jumping ahead. Um, so uh, phase four is the one that is we are currently in and it is ending with, I feel like I'm talking about the Mayan calendar. We are in phase four of the yeah. fourth moon of the- Where's anyway. the sun right now? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that is wrapping up with Wakanda for forever and um, uh, She-Hulk. Um, and what do you think that means? Like, what do you think the big wrap up is of that phase? I, I, that's the other thing with these phases is that the first three phases were like very like consistent. Weird. It's like here's a bunch of solo Avengers movies built into the big crossover Avengers movie, and now it's like here's a bunch of shit. And then another bunch of, sh- you know what I mean? It's like, how is what kind of forever the wrap up of f- phase anything? Amaru, um, who is like a, a big uh, nerd, uh, dumb person who was, that wasn't nerd, dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nerd, yeah. Dumb, uh, who is a, a big competitor in the movie series Modown for energy. And he talked about how phase four is like the phase of grief. And that's the through line of the whole phase. Like, Okay, everybody, like, how are we dealing with everybody that disappeared and like yeah. having to deal with all of the grief of the of life? Um, mm-hmm. and that's the connection, which I think it, there's validity to that. I'd be I, excited for that phase to end. Um, uh-huh. and Wakanda Forever ending that phase makes sense. Yeah, when you put it that way, that makes a lot of sense. I do feel like that's a little bit of that person doing Marvel's work for them. I yeah, it feels bit. I don't think they put that much thought into it, but that does they're not wrong. Like like it's like, okay, that kind of yeah, I see that. So phase four was on the movie end, Black Widow, Shang Chi, Eternals, No Way Home, Multiverse of Madness, Love and Thunder, and Wakanda Forever. And on the show front, we had WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier, Loki season one. On this list is what if, but considering the animation stuff was on a different track than the other stuff i'm not going to count that um hawkeye moon knight miss marvel she hulk there's still an untitled halloween special somewhere out there and then the guardians galaxy holiday special but i don't think that's part of any of this um that's phase four phase phase five we got Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. We got Secret Invasion, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Echo, Loki Season 2, The Marvels, Blade, Ironheart, Agatha, Daredevil Born Again, Captain America New World Order, and The Thunderbolts. Um, we got some information on Ant-Man and the Wasp. We got a poster with the first look of Kang. I, that's in our doc, uh, Roxy. In case you didn't. I'm excited for all things Kang. Get us more. Get us the Kang. We're part of the Kang gang. Um, and then we got uh, apparently audiences at Comic Con got to look at Modoc, who's going to be in the movie, which is crazy. And apparently Bill Murray's in it, and um, Catherine New- Newton is of course playing Cassie Lang. Um, so that's what we know about Ant Man, and of course that's going to be a big one, just because it looks like one of the Avengers movies we're getting is Kang Dynasty. So clearly he's yeah. a big he's a big boy in this phase. I much preferred the second Ant Man movie to you. Yes, I, and so I, something I'd look forward to of all Phase Five, DJ, of everything you just named. Yes, what is the one property? If you could only see one, what's the one you'd want to see? Uh, if I could only see one, yeah, probably um, uh, Captain America: New World. Or, or yeah, probably that. Probably you that? Say that's the one you're most excited for. Uh, the one that interests me most is probably Thunderbolts. But if I could only see one. I, I, you and I have discussed this. You and I both like Falcon and Winter Soldier. I have, I, and I just saw a clip from it today. It's like that reminded me, like, oh yeah, I did like that show. Like I liked that show. Uh, so it's like I feel conf- more confident about that. Thunderbolts is more of a question mark, but that question mark interests me. But if I, I really hope the Marvels is good. I am looking forward to it. Obviously, I was a little bummed with the way Miss Marvel wrapped up, but um, that would be great. I like that director. The director did Candyman, and I like that a lot. So. Blade, we heard, is going to be PG-13. Uh, which is a bummer, but not surprising. Truth be told, though, if you've gone back and watched the original Blade, it could be PG-13 now. It's actually uh, not that violent. <laughs> um, I love the first two Guardians. I'm, and for some reason, just not clamoring for a third one. I'm excited for the third one because I'm much more on the James Gunn train post-Suicide Squad mm-hmm. and Peacemaker. However... I was much more on the Taika Waititi train post uh, uh, what we do in the shadows and uh, our flag means death. And then love and thunder came. And I was like, Oh, well, okay. They all can't, they can't all be winners. <laughs> yeah. Some good things on here. The Agatha show is 
so fucking confusing to me that it isn't. I can't even. I can't even grasp that we're going to get an Agatha all along show. Agatha Coven of Chaos. Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, it could be an outlier. It could be fucking great. But I'm the same as you. Is like, well, how is that even on this list? How how did we yeah. make that a priority? <laughs> what is winter 2023, 2024? Oh, that's like December, January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we're a year and a half out from that. Wow, it's just like uh, that's wild. Uh, that's wild. The, the, a lot of shows. Not stoked on Loki season two, although I'm sure I'm gonna watch every single one of these things. But yes, yep, yeah, there's some things on here that I'm like, huh? All right, all right, phase five. Let's see what you do. Yeah, I'm hoping that, that I feel. I feel like I don't know if you feel the same way, Roxy. I feel like phase four was a little rocky. Um, and so I'm kind of hoping maybe we've, we've ironed some things out with phase five, like whatever, what whatever the main things in phase four, the main thing in phase four is like black widow, the movies, Shang-Chi eternals. I actually feel like the movies were stronger than the shows. Uh, yeah, I, I like Shang-Chi. I didn't love the last little bit, but I like the, the yeah. movie loved eternals. Yeah. No way home, uh, multiverse madness, love and thunder. And what kind of I love no way home. Uh, so, so I, I think that. I think phase four, when you say Rocky, I think that's fair because the highs were super high. Yeah. Was phase four Black Widow? Yes. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it's weird. It's all it's all kind of kind of weird. It's kind of strange. Um, yeah, phase, I'm much more excited about phase six than I am phase five. But there's nothing on phase six, Roxy. There's only three things. <laughs> Right, and I'm excited for each one of those. Um, so the, a couple things before we move to phase six. Um uh daredevil born again roxy this stunned me and i had to share it with you because i don't know if you saw it i was i was pulling details for this daredevil born again is 18 episodes yes i did see that i think that that is wild what the uh, fuck like every other marvel show this is this is three seasons of any other disney plus marvel show yeah and it, and it's still two seasons of a netflix show yeah um which i only say because the daredevil episodes were 10 episodes right uh, I think the first two season. No, I think they were all thirteen. I think I think the oh, Netflix 13. show. I, I know they were too many. That but was the problem long, with the Netflix. They're show. longer than the even the uh, OG Daredevil show. So yeah. that, that's interesting. But to be honest, it's a weird. This is weird, and I get it. But this is my imitation of Daredevil fans for the last three years. Give us Daredevil. Give us Daredevil. Give us Daredevil. We want Daredevil. Please give Daredevil. I need Daredevil. 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 Then they announced 18 episodes. Too many episodes. We need less Daredevil. <laughs> Don't want that much Daredevil. Cut down the Daredevil. And it's like, I, 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 I came up in a time where it's, uh, what a TV show meant was that it was 24 episodes. Yep. But I, I'm totally, I get it. I like a 10 episode season. I like an eight episode season. I do. But six for some of the shows has been way too little and mm -hmm. whatever. I think 18 could be really interesting. We yes. could have an 18 episode season that's awesome so i'm just not gonna sit here and be like 18 is, is fucking torturous when i'm just i'm excited there's a daredevil show i'm interested into why they felt like it needed 18 episodes I'm, and and hopeful that means that we might get some really cool appearances yeah totally and i think I, I i it does kind of feel like that maybe they're making up for lost time of like yeah basically you're getting three we wanted to do three seasons of a daredevil show and we kind of don't have time for it before phase blah, blah, blah. and so here it is you know what i mean we're just doing it we're just shotgunning it all at once because i know miss marvel especially with the story they decided to tell needed more breathing room um and i wonder if that comes from the fact that these actors are coming from a t it's not like anthony mackie and stuff these are people coming from daredevil season three which was a tv show and so it's like those con i don't know if maybe it's a contract thing of like we can work this like a tv show you know what i mean and so it's 18 episodes um mm -hmm. i'm not against it but i will be interested to see it just surprised me just because that's not what we've been doing it was shocking i was shocked by it if you'd asked me how many episodes would a daredevil show be i would have said eight to ten yeah if you told me it was 13 i'd been like okay 18 i was like i would never have guessed yeah. that yeah. however it's just so funny daredevil dare, mm -hmm. we want to give it too much daredevil, Let's daredevil. <laughs> calm down disney yeah. calm down all right, we're going to do a quick ad break. Oh, my goodness. And then we'll be right back. Oh, my goodness. We're right back. Oh, who saw that coming? I did. Um, wow. Wow. Really uh, so let's go into phase six. Okay, which DJ. Is, yes. You just made fun of me for saying that I'm more excited for phase six than phase five. But every part of phase six sounds fucking great so far. I mean, 
I mean, I'm, I don't disagree. I just, it's a big, it's just a big, it's, it's a blank slate. It could be anything. That's the cool part. Mm-hmm. And the things that we know we're getting, Fantastic Four, bring it on, baby. Yes. I'm ready for Fantastic Four. I'm ready gimme, for an gimme. excellent Fantastic Four movie. I kind of thought we were going to get more of an announcement on this for uh, Comic Con. They keep they keep kicking this can down the road. It was gonna be it was gonna be the end of Phase Four, uh, and then I swear to God, Roxy, at this point, I I honestly think they were they were building towards a tease of Mister Fantastic and WandaVision, and they had to cut it because they didn't they just didn't have it, and so yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's possible, and and they might still not know who their cast is for this movie. I think that's. I think you're right. I think you're right. So, unless unless they're saving it for D twenty three. Yeah, possibly. But th- is that September? I don't know. You would think if they knew the cast now, they would announce it now, and D twenty three, they would do something else. Yeah, um, but but who knows? Yeah, I'm stoked on this. And then both of the, like these two back to back Avengers movies, not back to back six months apart. I mean, yeah, for yes, back to back for Avengers movies. Yeah, for Avengers movies <laughs> yeah. is like. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. What do you make of that? Uh, it's inter- oh, and the other. It, literally, before we started recording, it broke that um, Destin Daniel Cretton, who directed uh, Shang Chi, will be directing one of them, uh, King Dynasty, which and Just we, Mercy, right? Um, huh? And Just Mercy. That's uh, the movie with um, Michael B. Jordan. He did that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, and short term twelve, maybe or something. Yeah. 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 So so he'll be doing King Dynasty. Uh, apparently he's still in the books to direct a few episodes of Wonder Man, uh, that Disney Plus show that's supposed to be coming out. And yeah, apparently, just out. So weird. apparently he's still supposed to be on the books for do a Shang Chi. Which if there was going to be a Shang Chi two, I would have been putting in this Phase Six. But there's no fucking way he's doing a Shang Chi movie back to back with an Avengers event. Yeah, do you think we're not going to get another Shang Chi movie until after 2025? Well, that's one of my questions, Roxy. So we got a lot of blank slates here. We got how many empty slots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine empty slots. Oh, yeah. We got eight re- empty slots. Oh, I read eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got eight. I, I, that was a mistake on my part. Counting uh, is difficult. <clears throat> um, so we've got eight open slots. And, my, and I was wondering how many, because there's not a lot of sequels in phase five. Um, so I was I was interested. I, I wanted us to do some speculation of what we think we might we might see. Uh, I would hope for some kind of Eternals too. Yeah. Or Eternal situation. Um, I think that that's what it should be called, the Eternal situation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would love to see a Shang Chi too in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which would make sense. Um, what are we doing with Black Widow right now? Question mark. With, with Yelena? Question mark. Okay. So. There, there? There's rumors she might appear in Thunderbolts. Well, there's something about that school, right? Black Widow school. I mean, maybe. I, that, we kind of set something up like that at the end of. Um, and, yeah. I mean, we could do. We could either do a Black Widow 2 with Yelena or if they. Uh, kiss and made up with um, Scarlett Johansson. We could get another Black Widow with her that takes place like before Infinity, like post Civil War, pre Infinity War. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, totally. So those are some of the ones I would hope to see and be expecting to see. Uh, what about you, DJ? Um, we still have unaccounted for. They're they're working on a uh, uh, Armor War show um, with War Machine. And there's that Wonder Man show. And considering there's not other announcements with them, I'm wondering if those are being moved to phase six. I do know in the previous phases, I did the math uh, because I'm so good at math. Uh, In phase four, we got seven movies and eight shows for 15 total projects. In phase five, they're projected to do six movies and six shows for 12 total projects. And in phase six, we have 11 total projects. How many movies, how many shows? I, I, because they're blank slate. We know that. So are three you, are of those, you thinking? Are you thinking it's going to be like half and half? Probably. Like I'm assuming like the other ones, and maybe a little bit more shows. <clears throat> so, right now we have three movies on the docket: the two Avengers movies and the Fantastic Four movie. So there's going to be another one, and uh, uh, one of those two fall 2024 slots, or the winter 2024 slot. No, but that's Fantastic Four. I think a fall 2024 slot. Is gonna be a movie. Yeah, I think. But isn't isn't November twenty twenty four fall? Am I would I call that that's winter, right? 
It, mm. I don't know. I think you're right. I think one of these is going to be a show. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us as we try to decode the secrets of the multiverse. Um, definitely one of the. Would I think one of, of these. I think one of these is going to be a movie. One of these winter ones is going to be a movie. Show. One of the winter twenty. What are, one, one of these of the, winter twenty twenty four to twenty twenty five. Um. Well, we know in November of twenty twenty five that we have a movie. Yes. So yeah, but but that winter twenty twenty five, the way they they put it on the calendar, that's going to be like January. Oh, okay. So earlier. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but, that's it. I just I just reiterated w- where they had them on the calendar and what was posted there. So it's a. I also we, found it a little confusing. Does January? Do we have we ever put out a Marvel movie in January? No, but we put out shows then. So I'm going to think. I think the January one is probably a show. Okay. Yeah, then the 2024 winter part is probably the mo- a movie. Well, it's pretty close see. to Fantastic Four. But I do think it is p- plausible that they would put out Fantastic Four November um, 8th and then Christmas of, of 2024, they would do another movie. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm thinking Christmas 2024, it'll be a movie. This but is- that would be crazy because then just thinking about the 2024 year, that means we would get a Captain America movie. Yes. A Thunderbolts movie. A Fantastic Four movie, and then one other movie. That is crazy. <laughs> that is that. Yeah, Captain America and Thunderbolts are happening like back to back. Basically, there's, there's like a month between them. This is stupid. This is a lot. This is crazy. Um, uh, no, it's two. It's almost three months. Between between Cap and Thunderbolts, yeah, yeah I see what you mean. Yeah, because it's early May versus late July. I yeah, see. yeah, still, still, that's close. So it's still wild. That's it's within wild. spitting distance. Um, yeah, for sure. So here's here's my thoughts. My thoughts are: Fantastic Four November, fall the two fall twenty twenty fours are shows. Then in winter 2024, we get a movie. Then that January will probably be another show. Then in spring, we'll have a show. In spring, we'll have a movie. Avengers King Dynasty is in May. Summer 2025 will be a show. A movie. You said we're going to have a spring movie that isn't Avengers King Dynasty? That isn't, I think May, both isn't, both May, those... isn't May? Isn't May? Isn't May summer? But spring would be. Hold on. Spring would mean that it would be April, March or April. Mm hmm. Do you think there's gonna be a movie in March or April and then another one in May? Yes. Wow. That's my. That is what my. I, I am speculating. That is. That is correct. Uh, is that. Is that accurate? I mean, because we're getting. We're getting a movie on. in November, yeah, and then we know. think we're getting one in December. Because didn't so. we get? We got. We got fucking um, multiverse of madness in April. That's spring. And then we got yeah. Thor. Then we got Thor in J- uh, July, which is summer. Yeah, but I don't think we're going to do a November, April, May. But maybe. November, April, May. And, and also, it should be it should be pointed. These are obviously. No, sorry. November, December, April, May. Because you already said. That's true. That's a good May. point. That's a good point. Yeah. I think we'll get three. Mo- I think between Fantastic Four and um, Avengers, the King Dynasty, we're going to get one movie. Between those two movies. So between November 8th, 2024. And May 2nd, 2025, we'll have one movie. Okay, so you're thinking one, two, three. And it will be in December three, for Christmas time. Four. So let's say let's say we're gonna get five movies. Let's including the three we already know. So that means two movies that we have yet to be announced. So that means hold on. So so five movies. Yep, I'll tell you exactly where they are. And six shows. Here are where I think the five movies are. Okay. Fantastic four, November eighth, twenty twenty four. Okay. And then winter 2024, I bet we do a Christmas release for a, a, a movie we don't know yet. Agree. And then Avengers King Dynasty, May 2nd, 2025. Okay. And then summer 2025, one of these things will be in a, um, a Marvel movie. So okay. it will be probably in August. We'll get something. So okay. we have May, then August. And then November 7th, 2025, we end out the phase with Secret Wars. Those are the five movies, I think. Okay. I I would probably I would probably suggest instead of August, it would be something like April. But regardless, the but math. Then that's, the but math, we have May. But, 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 oh, but right. the math. Right. Oh, you're right. You're right. right. I get it. I mean, point is, math adds up. So we got five movies and six shows. 
We've already got three movies that we know about: Fantastic Four, the two Avengers, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that the other two will probably be a Shang Chi and an Eternals. Me too. Me too. Um, so will Daniel Destin Cretton, Destin Daniel Cretton, excuse me, direct one Shang Chi and Avengers? I don't think I think they'll get another director. There's just no Is way. Is he doing King Dynasty? Yeah, he's doing King Dynasty. Then I think that would be too soon for because if if we do Shang Chi in the Christmas release of 2024, yeah. It's still too that's soon. That's suicide. Him. That's su- that's too much. Like, yeah. um, so I'm I'm thinking we just get a different director. Um, or Shang Chi is not in Phase Six, which would be insane. Well, except so that would mean when did Shang Chi come out? That came out last year, 2021. Although we're obviously going to get Shang Chi in the Avengers movies, right? I would assume so. How could we not? Especially since he's directing one of them. How could we not? Right. Right. Um, so maybe, maybe that is our Shang Chi. Can I tell you who I'm betting? Wait, none of these are Spider-Man things, right? Because that's not. No, I think my, I, I am under the impression. I don't know if you're in the same one. I feel like uh, Tom Holland wanted a break. I feel like we're on a break from Spider-Man until post Secret Wars. Okay. I if, don't know. if he comes back. Um, can I tell you who my bet is? Since we're splitting up, we're not doing what we did for Infinity War and, and uh, Endgame, where it's the same directors. We're directing both movies back to back. We're splitting it up because Daniel Destin, Dan, Destin Daniel Cretton, excuse me, um, was announced to do uh, King Dynasty, but not Secret Wars, which I feel like is very intentional on their part. You really think that they're going to have two different directors for those two movies? Yeah, I think that's the only way you could do it, honestly, um, right. uh, with how big they are. Um my bet is it seems like uh, Kevin Feige was very happy with Sam Raimi directing Multiverse of Madness. I feel I like he's going to. I think Sam Raimi is going to do Secret Wars, especially with all the people that they're probably going to bring back. I feel like I feel like I feel like they're going to. I I feel like whether no he way. does it or not, I feel like they're at least going to offer it to him. No way. Why do you say no way? I say no way because it they cannot fuck around with that fucking movie. Well, then who and- are they give it for? We already know it's not the Russos. They've confirmed that it's not going to be the Russos again. I think it will be uh, Dustin Daniel Cretton. Uh, then why did they? Then why did they announce him for Kang and not Secret Wars? I don't know, but I think because that movie's coming first, and just depending on how he does on set, maybe. But like, how are you going to switch? They're going to have to stay through. They're filming through. They're not leaving. They're not moving. They're not budging. They're filming these two movies at the same fucking time. Mm-hmm. They're coming out six months from each other. Yeah, I think that's one set. I, I hear you. I hear you. I just think they would have announced that he's doing both. So it sounds like they're splitting it up. And my money, I bet they're going to offer to Sam Raimi to do Secret Oh, Wars. my God. I think that would be a really not good call. We'll see. I love Sam Raimi. Yeah. I love Sam Raimi. It's not. It's nothing to do with that. But I think that that would be such a bad call. I. But I think the counterpoint that I would make, I understand what you're saying. I think the counterpoint I would make is that Asking one director to handle both those movies back to back is also uh, asking a lot of an individual, and that is yeah, that is why I think the if they production. do split them up, I think that's why they would do it. I'm literally picturing them though, DJ, filming these two movies simultaneously. I get you, like as in they are filming them not one than the other, yeah. but like scene one from movie one, scene scene four for movie two scene based on yeah. set locate like i'm literally picturing them filming at the same time yeah i mean that's my understanding of what they did for infinity war and endgame so i hear you but i don't know i i actually it's not fair of me to say it's a bad idea because i think sam raimi is a fucking brilliant director and, but i just think like logistically the, you don't see how it works yeah. yeah like how are you gonna turn turn that around but then again, logistically, I don't know how for post production a director would be able to like really steer the ship for two movies at once. That'd be hell. Yeah, and also this might be this might be a good example of like we like to talk about directors. I don't know that Marvel Studios cares that much. Like it's one of the it's the apparatus. The apparatus is going to coalesce around whoever's put in charge, yeah. and and uh, <clears throat> they might be filming on different on same set diff- whatever. But like. I, the only reason I think Sam Raimi might do if if they do separate people, um, the only reason I think it might not be Sam Raimi is he has the common sense to say no, thank you. <laughs> that sounds like hell. No, thank you. Yeah. And they already said it's not going to be the Russo brothers. Apparently, it has been confirmed that the Russo brothers are not doing it. That, that said, it could be one of those like remember how J.J. Abrams was confirmed to that he wasn't yeah, going to yeah, do yeah. Star Wars and then he did. You know what I mean? Like. I have a really stupid question for you. No stupid questions, only stupid answers. 
Do you think there's any world in which Feige does it? I do. I do. I don't know that that's the right decision, but I do see that. Listen, uh, Michael Giacchino is supposed to be directing that Halloween special for Disney+. Plus. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, 100% I do. Roxy, yes, I do. That would be wild. Yeah, it would be insane. It would be, but, but if you ask me if I see a world, yeah, I do see a world, but that's the case. Huh. <laughs> and, and, huh. and truthfully, I'm not entirely sure how different that would be than most Marvel productions. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so I totally, yeah. of course, I do. Huh. Here's, here's my question. Now, now, my question for you, and now we get to my big concern. Is I this Secret Wars is kind of what I was spe- speculating post end game because it's, again it's a way to bring everybody back. We we've said we, we just filled if if our speculation is correct the other two movie slots for Phase Six we just filled with Shang Chi and Eternals, which means we're not getting an X Men movie pre Secret Wars, and my concern is Kevin Feige thinks what the fans want. And truth be told, this might be what most fans want. It's not what this fan wants. What the fans want is they want to see Chris Evans, Captain America with like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. And it's like, no, my dude, I want to see the MCU's Wolverine. I want the Tom Holland of Wolverines. And I want to see that person in the MCU. That's what I want. I, I have had plenty of the Fox X universe. We yeah, got, Pat- yeah, we got Patrick Stewart back for multiverse madness. And that was fine. I want, I want an MCU's. Do you think X-Men. there's a world in which in secret wars we're introduced to Taron Egerton as Wolverine? Um, <clears throat> like in the way that we met Spidey. Or- um, I, I do in that it's that might be how we segue into them. I don't I think that would be bad. I, I, I see them doing it. I don't prefer that. And it might be listen, it might be great. I think the mm-hmm. way they would do that is I think the justification for that would be we need Hugh Jackman on screen looking at the new Wolverine and being like, you're cool, dude. And it's like, no, you don't vote. You know what I mean? My, my vote is we didn't need that with Tom Holland. Like we, we earned that. We built towards that. Like, I don't yeah. need that for whoever the new Wolverine is. Just give me the new Wolverine and have him hang out with Chris Evans, Captain America. That's what I want. And then maybe bring in Hugh Jackman's whatever. But that's not, I don't want that to be the Wolverine of this movie. You know what I mean? Personally. I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm what, with you on that. What do you think is going to happen? If you had to speculate, how do you think this is going to play out? How do I think the specifically Wolverine's going to play out? How do I think X-Men. the X-Men are going to play out? X-Men. We use Wolverine because he's like the... The mask. He's like the dude. Like if you want to talk about X Men generally, Wolverine's your guy. <laughs> Do you think there's a good possibility that we're gonna get Storm in, um, uh, Wakanda? Yeah, maybe. in a like in a post credit or like that's how they that they've they've had really good track record with sneaking in people through those post credit scenes. We got we got uh, yeah, because uh, green Cle- screen something. Yeah, exactly. Clea. We got Hercules. Like that's how they sneak people in. That's the only way we don't find out about it ahead of time. But the one reason that I'm kind of like, hmm, about that is that that movie is coming in a few months. Yeah. And we're not and we're jam packed for phase five and there is no wiggle room for X-Men really. Yeah. There. So except in the Marvels, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because we did get that. So there are mutants in the MCU. There is a precedent set there. Right. So like we could we could sneak some things in there, but none of those are like a Marvel. I mean, are an X-Men based film or TV show. Um, So we would be then waiting from 2022, introducing Storm to somewhere in 20. If we're waiting till after Secret Wars. So after 2025. Yeah, that seems like not realistic. I agree. So, yeah, I I do think we're going to get. Maybe it is a slow fucking burn. Maybe we introduce Storm in 2022 and then like uh, we m- navigate more in 2023 with the Marvels or with so- something. And then in 2024, maybe there's a couple more hints or hits. And then in 2025 in Secret Wars, we're introduced to our Wolverine. Yeah, I, you know what? I think you make it that actually would be pretty compelling to me is if, if we're saying we're not doing an X-Men movie before Secret Wars. If at least we seed them out like, hey, Storm's in this, Wolverine's in this, Cyclops is in this. And then we're waiting for that like build up post Secret Wars. Like, that's fine. I just again, I just don't want them to like I don't want them to think that I'm stoked to see like 
Ian McKellen come out on a walker and have him be the magnet. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, that's not. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, I I will say I love the mini mini cameo, but that's not. I want an X Men movie. Yeah. So like, yeah. um, and I was one of the few people who liked New Mutants. Yeah, I, and I didn't hate. I I didn't I didn't hate New Mutants. I actually wouldn't mind if we brought those actors back. Let me ask you this, DJ. Yeah. We have claimed that the two other movies are going to be, we think, are going to be Eternals or Shang-Chi 2. Yeah. Eternals 2, Shang-Chi 2. Is it possible that one of those two movies is actually a Wolverine movie? Yes, or an X-Men movie. I think or so. Or an X-Men movie. If, 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 if we were axing one, the only reason, I would say for if we're axing one of our suggestions, it'd probably be Eternals just because of the reaction. Uh, the I only other, might ax Shang-Chi because, because I think it's going to be in Avengers... Uh, King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Yeah. Well, and also, again, if, if uh, Destin Daniel Cretton's directing one of them, if, if, not even directing both, if he's just directing one of those Avengers movies, I don't see how you fit a Shang-Chi in there while you're working on that. But yeah. the other thing I will say... C.C. Malou um, came out on the red carpet with his girlfriend this mm-hmm. past week. I heard about that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Um, the amount of people that texted that to me was disturbing. It was too many. It was too many. But like, um, I get it. I get it. Um, talking about, well, you know, do we live in a world? I also see think we live in a world where we've announced the slate, and then at D23, Kevin Feige is like, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I forgot to include one other thing in here. Boom, X-Men. You know what I mean? And then we get like. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Just fucking where yeah yeah exactly and what in what space mr feige okay before we go we've said we've said there's five movies six shows roxy what are what are our six uh i I feel like they're sequels because what i don't know what new show other than the show that you just mentioned yeah um, wonder man yeah wonder man and armor wars Yep, we'll probably go there. So we'll but, probably get a mean, moon. What would be? We're going to call them sequels because they're like movies. But what would traditionally be a yeah, season two, like season Moon Knight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Moon yeah, Knight. Um, probably Miss Marvel. That would make sense. Yeah, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel. Then the two shows we just mentioned. So that's four, and then we we only have one more spot. Yeah, maybe She Hulk. She Hulk two. Yeah, <laughs> She Hulk two. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, it is. It's it's a weird beast. I would I would say Daredevil, except again, Daredevil is just coming out in what 2023? 2024? There is a twenty twenty four, and it's Jessica Jones show. I mean, there's there's cool things that wrong. could be, yeah, or like a Defender show that would be cool. La- yeah. Last thing, Leonard Kim, as a, he says, as a uh, in the Discord, as I reflected on the SDCC news. Uh, specifically Marvel, I found myself looking even further ahead down the line. I know I'm getting way ahead of myself, but post-Avengers King Dynasty Secret Wars, what else could they explore? I know a lot of people tweeted me that like, it's going to be the mutant saga. The next saga is going to be the mutant saga. It's like, I think that's too specific. Yeah, but we have a lot to explore because we don't, we're going to have shit to explore with the Eternals for a long time, mm-hmm. which I really would be excited about. I just rewatched then, it. I think it still holds up. I actually, I enjoyed too. it. I enjoy it. <laughs> um, I And then we're going to have Fantastic Four that we're dealing with. Yeah. So post-Secret Wars, we got a lot of shit to deal with with Fantastic Four. And then we've got mutants. So like we between uh, dealing with our, our mutants, dealing with Fantastic Four, and dealing with the Eternals, I think that Phase 7 kind of like it's got a lot of shit going on. Already. Yeah, and if we don't have a Shang Chi too, that's a good you know plop that right in there. There's still wow, speculation of a Scar- crazy. There's still speculation of a Scarlet Witch movie. <clears throat> so then we would have to have a Shang Chi two until 2026. But then again, Aquaman was fucking four years apart from Aquaman too. So yeah, it's not unheard yeah. of. It is weird for Marvel, but it's not unheard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's probably going to be five years till we get the Batman too. So you know, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so we'll see. I, I will also say it wouldn't surprise me, and people are going to hate that I'm going to say this, it wouldn't surprise me if they kind of reboot things after Secret Wars and we get a new Captain America, a new, like a new Steve Rogers, a new uh, Tony Stark. I new... like that idea, DJ. I know that people don't like that idea, but I do. I want this to be accessible for teenagers and yeah. kids and people who don't want to watch 5,000 things in order to understand who Captain America is. Yeah, and I also wouldn't ha- I will also wouldn't hate it if, like, we we had an MCU, a new MCU that started with X Men and the Fantastic Four, and like they're all there. We don't have to figure out a way to arc weld them in there. They're just we're there. We're off to the races. But but again, we are like you just mentioned. We're introducing a bunch of new people already, so we'll see. Uh, last couple things is I am curious to see if we're going to try and figure out a Galactus 
in their pre-secret wars because i having rewatched eternals i really think we're going to try and position galactus as a celestial I mean, Interesting. Makes sense to me. And also, I know we're talking about like Kang and Kang Dynasty. I think Kang is going to be the bad guy of Kang Dynasty, and I think Doctor Doom is going to be the bad guy of Secret Wars. Secret I think, Wars. Yeah, I think yeah. he's going to be the. I think he is the big bad of this, of this. And you think saga. he is the actor? Yeah. I don't know who they would cast. Can I tell you who my my choice would be? Yeah. Let me pull it up because uh, I've I felt this way for a long time. My choice would have been Mads Mikkelsen. He's been taken, but he would have been he would have been the guy. Um, did you watch the Netflix Dracula show, Roxy? No. The actor who played Dracula, and he was also in Northman. I'm going to pronounce his name incorrectly, and I apologize. Uh, it's Klaus Bang. He's a Danish actor. He would be great. Uh, uh, it's C L A E S Bang. That is the last name. Um, he is great in Dracula. I think he he 100 has. The vibes, like I, I just think he would make a really, really, really good Doctor Doom. The yeah, other one, looked, I get, I get that, but just based on his headshot, yeah, just it's just like, yeah, he'd be the dude. Um, the other one that occurred to me, um, a talented actor that might be good. Um, also speaking of the Northmen, and if we really wanted to go with, um, you know, it's sad that Doctor Doom can't show his face, like he was his, he was injured. Uh, I actually thought of uh, of, of of Alexander Skarsgård might be interesting huh it's, it, there's something that compelling there about like somebody incredibly handsome having to cover his face in a mat like it's, it feels like it feeds into the i don't know yeah i could see that i could do, see that do you have a do you have a potential dr doom casting no i don't i'll but next time i will i think we've got some time we've got <laughs> we've got some time we've got some time and just to uh speaking of casting we talked about Taron Egerton before. I have been watching Blackbird, and I see it more now, Roxy, how he could be a, a Wolverine. Mm -hmm. I think he would have to – I think he, it would be a very kind of transformative performance for him. Um, but I think he could I think he could do it. Mm -hmm. He definitely has the physique for it. Mm -hmm. If you, so you, You've been watching that show, right? Uh, just a little bit. I okay. haven't seen the whole thing. But There's yeah. a couple shirtless scenes. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, like, he, he's got the superhero. He's doing the superhero he workout. His ass off yeah. for it. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, those are our thoughts for phase six. Roxy, where can the kids find you? Everywhere at Roxy Stryer. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let us know on Twitter uh, what you think about our speculation for phase six. You can find me at DJ Tracks, Talks Trash. You can find the show everywhere that matters uh, at Only Stupid Answers, but on Twitter. Think up the vowels from stupid. Please uh, join our Patreon, patreon.com slash only stupid answers. And if you missed the Kickstarter for my comic, you can still go to the pre-order store. You can go to hellbentcomicbook.com and click that pre-order -pre link. And thanks again to everybody that backed my comic and made that happen. It uh, means the world to me. Uh, and we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Oh, thank you to Glenn Caesar and Leonard Kim for joining us live. Um, uh, Leonard Kim says maybe a mute. Oh, uh, uh, they're talking about Eternals 2 and Shang-Chi 2, maybe a mutant's intro. Uh, uh, and Leonard Kim says he's super down for a third Doctor Strange. I mean, we'll get one, but like, again, where? Like, are we going to be waiting five years for that? We'll see. Uh, anyway, thank you all this for joining us. Last bang guy, man. I he's so good it. watch watch just like just scrolling through pictures of him yeah just watch like the first episode of dracula or just a few minutes and i think you'll immediately like oh he's, he's just got he's just good at, with the villain vibes he's just got the yeah. vibe anyway yeah. that's it from us thank you everybody we'll see you next time <laughs>